Okay, the next thing we're going to explore on the for, uh, function shortcut menu uh, by hitting alpha F2 is uh, end derive. And so that's option number three. End derive is how we evaluate a derivative of any particular function uh, at, a, at a given point. So for example, if I had, um, let's plug in a function. So if I say x um, raised to the fourth power, okay, and uh, that would be my function, and we're going to derive that function and evaluate it uh, with respect to x, so I need to let the calculator know uh, that we're going to evaluate it with respect to x. And then for the derivative, we want to evaluate it at a point. So for example, I'm going to put in uh, 2. And so I believe the answer should be, I don't know, was it 8 thirds or something like that? But anyways, what I'm going to do is list the function, um, the variable that we uh, are, are taking the derivative of with respect to, and then the value for that variable uh, that we're going to evaluate the derivative at. And the calculator uses an approximation 32. Why is it 32? That seems, I don't know, we'll go through the math. So anyways, uh, 32 is the answer. Your calculator uses a, um, an approximation mode where they let h approach like 0 0.001. And so let's think this through. x to the fourth will have a derivative of four times x, in this case it would be two, right? And that would be raised to the third power, right? And um, yeah, that seems right. Yeah, eight times four is 32. And so that's where that comes from. Now, another way that we can find the derivative of that is if I were to hit y equals, and I just put in uh, x to the fourth, and we go to graph that, and it looks like a stretched out parabola. And what I could do, another way to find the derivative of that is I could hit second, trace, which pulls up the calculate menu, and go down here to dy dx. Now again, this will not give you the derivative. It will only evaluate the derivative at a point. Remember, this is the tangent, or the slope of the tangent line at a point. So if I come down to six, option number six, it's gonna pull up my function here, and it's at this point, I'll be prompted to enter in an x value, or, oh no, I want uh, two, not one, so we make sure that it's consistent. And so I'm gonna enter in two, and once I hit an enter, uh, it does an approximation right here, okay? And that gives me the slope of the line, of the tangent line. One other thing I'm gonna piggyback on this. Um, if you wanted to know what the actual equation for the tangent line is, no problem. You can come in here if you hit second, and then hit, uh, see where it says draw, or program, if I hit that. See this one, option number five? We'll go down to option number five for tangent line. Hit tangent. And then we plug in 2. In other words, we're going to evaluate the uh, tangent line. Now, we already know that the slope is 32, but it'll give us the y-intercept as well. So we hit Enter, and it'll take a second. And we'll bam with the bacon sizzle. The uh, tangent line will have the equation of 32.008. Really, it's 32. Uh, minus 48.00016. It's actually uh, minus 48. And so that's how you find the uh, derivative. Uh, evaluated at a point, and then I threw in for extra free of charge uh, the tangent line. All done on your calculator.